All right, this is another instructional video on programming in Python. This one is about making a rock, paper, scissors game. A lot of the things that we're going to be doing in this uh, program are similar to uh, techniques that we used in the guessing game program. If you've watched that video, if you haven't watched that video, you may want to go, go back and do that project first um, because I won't be explaining um, some, of the, some of those things in this one. It's a, this, this project is a little bit more advanced. Um, you probably know how to play rock, paper, scissors. If you don't, you can visit the World RPS Society here, um, which is uh, worldrps.com. Um, when we finish our program, we're going to want it to look something like this. We don't need it to look exactly like this, um, and my program will probably look a little bit different, and yours should look different um, as well. Um, but the goal is basically to to get the computer to choose a random weapon, either rock, paper, or scissors, uh, to prompt the user to choose a, a weapon, and then compare those, see who wins a particular round, and then tally the score for the entire game and end up with a, f with a final score um, to, to, some, to some value. You could play to 20 if you wanted, but that might be a waste of time. So let's go ahead and get started. Just like in the uh, guessing game video, we're going to import into um, Python what the computer need, what the program needs to generate random numbers. We're going to be using random numbers to uh, get the computer to choose a weapon. Um, there are more complicated ways to get the computer to choose a weapon in a more intelligent way, uh, but we're going to start with a, with a, just a random value um, and see where that takes us. Um, before we do that, though, let's uh, get get the um, get the user to um, enter a weapon. We're going to refer to the user of the program as user, and we're going to use uh, refer to the computer as computer. Um, and we're going to assign this value um, whatever the user inputs as a response to this question. Now if if you remember um, we used input last time in the guessing game program this time we're using raw input what's the difference between the two? Um, raw input is used um, when we want to def define a value um, or to define a variable as a string of letters and numbers rather than just a single number um, in this case, we want the weapon that the individual chooses to be either rock, paper, or scissors. And these are not numbers. If we tried to use input on its own, um, the computer would or the program would get confused. Um, so we need to use raw input instead. If we then uh, try this out, um, let's go ahead and run the program. Um, and let's try scissors, and it prints scissors. Great. Um, I'm going to put a parenthesis in here, because I should have done that before. Um, now the next step is to um, get the, let's actually take this out. The next step is to get the computer to choose a value, and we're going to do that by first getting the computer to choose a random number, and then turning that number into a weapon. Um, Let's try this. If we if we call uh, the a computer number, we did this in the last video as well. We're going to assign computer number to mean mm, uh, some random integer between one and three. Um, let's see if that's working before we go any further. Um, I'm going to choose rock and the computer chooses two. Now, that's all we've asked it to do, but we would like it to turn this two into a weapon. We can do that using conditional statements like if. For example, if the computer number is is the same as the number one, colon, remember every conditional statement has to be followed by a colon in Python. Then the computer weapon will be assigned the value R. That is, we're defining computer weapon to be rock 
if the computer chooses a random integer 1. Um, we're going to use a slightly different conditional statement, L if. L if is the exact same as if, it's just uh, you're, you're able to string many of them together, um, one after another. Um, so if the computer number is the same as the number 2, then we're going to call computer weapon, what do you think? How about paper? And if neither of these things is true, that is, else, this is a conditional statement that we haven't used before, um, then we'll call the computer weapon scissors. Now, um, sorry, this colon's not supposed to be there. We could have used another L if down here, but I wanted to show you this uh, conditional statement else because we haven't used that yet. Let's go ahead and test this. Print computer weapon just to make sure it's working. Um, I'm going to choose paper and the computer chooses S. Now we know since it chose S that means that this must have this computer number must have returned the value 3. We can check that actually if we print computer number we'll see that computer number has been assigned a value 3. Um, now the last the last thing we want to do in this in this step of the program is to compare the user weapon and the computer weapon to see who wins this round. And we're going to do this with some more conditional statements. That is, if user weapon is the same as computer weapon, uh, then let's print draw. Um, but if user weapon is, let's say, if user weapon is paper and a computer weapon is rock, then print paper, oh, sorry, we need quotes on this, paper wraps rock. Um, user point. Um, let's try this. Choose your weapon. Oh, I'm going to choose paper. Ah, and the computer chose rock. So, paper wraps rock. User point. Now, I kind of got lucky here because if the computer had chosen anything else but rock I wouldn't it wouldn't have known what to do and it would have just sat there let's try let's try running the program again to see if that's the case um, run this program I'm gonna choose say rock the computer chooses paper and it just sits there because here we haven't included any instructions on what to do if um, the, the the user chooses rock and the computer chooses, in this case, paper. Um, you're going to have to do that on your, on your own. I'm not going to show you all the different conditions. Um, I think that you'll be able to figure that out. Um, but it's important to point out right now that this program does not have what it needs to play a real game of rock, paper, scissors. More importantly, one thing that I do want to show you um, is another thing that the, uh, the, that the program is missing, um, which is an ability to keep score. You'll notice if we look at this sample session, the score starts out as 0, 0, and then as the computer scores a point, this value goes up to 1. Then the human scores a point, and this value goes up to 1. Then there's a, a draw, so no one scores a point. And then the human scores two more points and wins. Our program doesn't have any way of keeping score, and we need to introduce that. We'll do it like this. In order to keep score, we're going to define two different scores. We're going to define a user score, and we're going to start that out. We're going to define that in the beginning of the game as zero. And we're going to keep track of a computer score. We're also going to start that out at zero. Anything else would be unfair. And our goal, just like in the 
guessing game is to do the same set of operations that is do all of this over and over again until something else happens. In the guessing game, um, it was until the user guessed the right number. In this case, it's until the user or the computer reaches a certain value for the score. Um, the way we do that, um, the way we did that in the guessing game and the way we're going to do that now is using a while loop. For now, um, I'm going to use this value, that is the, the word true with a capital T. Um, uh, Python understands to mean basically go. Following a while statement or while command, um, the word true basically just means like yes. So it's going to keep doing this over and over and over and over again and as long as your computer doesn't run out of batteries. So for example, if I say while true print hello mm, hello then if I run this program it'll just keep going and going and going and going and going that's not what I want in the long run but it's gonna be useful now just to test the program uh, so let's restart the shell and get rid of this We'd like to include in our while loop some way of keeping score. So let's start with this. Um, print computer score equals um, uh, computer score. Um, which we've just defined up here, and user, whoops, user score equals user score. Um, we can test this if we want um, by saving it and running the program. We've defined u computer score and user score to be zero. Remember, because we don't have anything else in this while loop, it's just going to keep running and running as long as this value is true, um, which we don't want. But we do ha we have confirmed that it understands what computer score and user score refer to. Um, the problem, though, is that the only thing in this while loop the only thing that is indented after the while colon is this. All this stuff that we would also like the computer to do over and over and over again is not yet indented. Now we could go through and hit tab on each of these to indent them or since Python knows this is a very important thing that you may have to do a lot um, we can go to format and indent all of these things. Now in this case if we save the program and we run it again it's going to first tell us what the computer and user scores are then it's going to ask us to choose a weapon let's say I can choose paper then it's going to choose a, a weapon of its own that's this part of the program and then it's going to compare the two. In this case I, the, the user chose paper and the computer chose rock so paper wrapped rock and I was supposed to get a point. The problem is so far I haven't actually introduced something to give me a point but everything else is working nicely and it goes back to um, asking me to choose a weapon. Let's try scissors this time. In this case, the, the computer chose paper. In my program, it doesn't know what to do with that, but at least we know that the while loop is working. Notice that if the user chooses paper and the computer chooses paper, we get a draw. That part is actually built into the program. Um, so the very, very last thing that we need to do is to introduce this, uh, this score mechanism um, so that the computer score and the user score doesn't just continue to be zero. Right now, 
it's always going to be zero because we don't have any way of changing these things. Um, the only time that we want to change the value of someone's score is if someone wins. That is, like if there's a draw, both of these scores are going to stay exactly the same. But if, for example, the user chooses paper and the computer chooses rock, not only do we want it to print paper wraps rock, but we want to add a point to the user score. We already know how to define user score as some value. We could assign it the value 3 or 3,000 or whatever. In order to increase the score by 1, we will define it using this equal sign as whatever it was before plus 1. That is, it's going to take this value of user score, which used to be 0, it's going to add 1 to it, and it's going to make that the new value of user score. Let's test this out and see if we can get it to work. Whoops. Um, let's see. Let's choose paper. Let's choose paper again. Let's choose paper again. I'm trying to get it to uh, choose rock. There we go. Paper wraps rock. I scored a point, and indeed, my user score did go up by one. Um, so this part of the program is working nicely. Um, again, right now we're only making one comparison of one of many situations that are possible. You're going to want to go into your program and add more um, conditions. But the idea of increasing the user score or the computer score when either the user or the computer wins around is very important to making this program work. I'm going to show you one abbre an abbreviation for how to do this because this is such a common thing that needs to be done a lot of the time in Python. Uh, instead of doing it like this, you can do it like this. Plus equals sign means take this value and add one to it and make that the new value. Um, this means exactly the same thing as what was there before. Um, it's just an, a sort of, sort of an abbreviated, easier way, easier way of writing it. Um, so there are still a few things that you're going to need to do with your program. Um, you're going to need to ask, uh, ask the user how many points they want to play to. And then you're going to have to use that number to end the game. I'm not going to tell you how to do that, but I'm going to give you a hint. It has something to do with this right here. We want that while loop to stop. Um, whenever someone reaches a certain score. In this case, the while loop is never going to stop. We could play this game for hours and the score would just keep going up and up and up and up and up. We don't want that. We would like this to stop um, when something becomes true. Um, so I'm going to leave you with that as a puzzle and I'll see you in the next video and good luck with your programming.